Karen McCullough with another lesson from the road. And you know the drill. If you like it, like it, subscribe to it, share it, and maybe even make a comment on this one because I think you're going to have a few to add. It's going to be good. It's about letting go. <laughs> yeah, it's about letting go of people. So I've been talking about making connections and I've been talking about the top five people in your list and how people can really help our careers and our businesses grow. But there's a negative to this too. And it's the people that you've got to just let go. People that are victims, that are always complaining. It's always about them. They're takers, right? People that pull you down. People that are always competing with you and having to one-up you. People that when you leave the conversation, you feel bad about yourself. I don't know if you have a lot of those in your life, but if you have one, I hope you're not married to that person. No. If you have one, I think it's time to let go. It's time to let go. So you might say, well, how am I going to do that? Well, the first thing is you're not going to call them and say, hey, man, I'm letting you go. No. Put them on a three-month plan. Maybe talk to them once every three months and then get it to a six-month plan. And then finally, just totally ghost them, right? Let them go. Don't tell them, just gradually don't be available for them because here's what will happen. Someone will take their place. When you let someone like that go, especially if they take a lot of your time, it's painful in the beginning because maybe you're even kind of addicted to that relationship, right? But when you let them go, over time, three, four months, others will come into your life. People that can help you and support you. People that you can trust and that you can grow with. So today, it's easy. Just let it go. Hey guys, it's Karen McCullough with a quick lesson from the road.